my channel because today I'm going to be doing a bake with me and I'm so excited because this is going to be chaotic. This is also in collaboration with Rosie. Rosie is actually so sweet. You guys should definitely go check out her channel. It'll be in the description box. And she's also doing Bake With Me videos, so definitely go watch her video too. So, and yes, I'm in my onesie because I was cold. And I also just watched Frozen again. I can be a reindeer too. So I'm probably giving you guys really Christmassy vibes right now, but I'm actually doing a Halloween bake with me. So I'm going to be making a cute like ghost cake. Um, my recipe is from BBC Good Food because I'm basic. Also, it's a very basic recipe, so maybe I won't mess it up and set my house on fire. So you know, let's just hope this goes well. So let's go on with the video. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, I'm actually really hot and totally regretting my life choices of wearing a onesie. But you know what, I look cute so it's okay. Also guys, do you celebrate Halloween? Comment down below if you do, and if you do celebrate Halloween, what's your favourite thing to dress up as? Okay, so I'm just gonna start measuring and hopefully this will go well. I'm gonna start with the sugar. It said caster sugar, but I have no caster sugar. So granulated is going to work for me. Two, 200 grams of golden, what is golden caster sugar? Okay, I'm just gonna need 200 grams of normal sugar. So now I need some butter, which I probably should have measured out first. So I'm using this little electric whiskey thingy machine because yeah. I realize the lighting is bad and please forget the fact that there's sugar all over the table, but we're going to deal with it and begin. Okay, so I'm just going to use a wooden spoon and attack it and stuff, so yeah. Okay, so... A few minutes later. So it still kind of isn't working. I think I'm going to add some milk. Maybe it'll just soften up and actually, like, do stuff a bit better. Okay, it's still going everywhere. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. I'm just going to dump all of the ingredients in together and then mix them up because that is just, just a very technical skill that I don't think many people can do. So let me go ahead and dump everything into the bowl. Now for the hard bit, cracking the eggs. It's actually four of these to crack, so... Number two. Now it's time for egg number three. Whoa. I'm actually really proud of myself. Only one more egg left. And I think I'm gonna hand whisk it first so that we don't repeat what happened last time. Whisk, whisk. Okay, now I'm going to use my electric baby and do it. Hopefully it works this time. Although maybe I should add some flour and stuff first. I don't even know. Normally it's not this bad, guys. I feel like I'm making an omelette since it's just literally just egg. <laughs> but um, let me add in the actual ingredients now. 200 grams of self-raising flour. You know what, I could be a... This is really bad measuring, but... 202, but we'll survive. And I'm also gonna add in my cocoa powder. I just want it to be a little more chocolatey, so I'm not gonna level out a teaspoon. 
and that was my phone. Now I need one teaspoon of baking powder, but which one is the teaspoon? And I am going to try and make this one level because I don't want too much baking powder. I also need vanilla extract, but I actually don't have any, so yeah. <laughs> that is actually it. Okay, so all the ingredients are in. Now it's just time to whisk, mix this thing up. Here we go. I'm just going to give a quick whisk before I do because I know it's just going to come flying out into my face. So I feel like this is the point in the video where everyone usually tastes their batter but I don't want salmonella so I'm not going to. And you know what? I think it is over. It actually looks kinda okay, you know? So I'll be honest, I haven't really planned out how I'm going to bake it into a ghost shape. So what I think I'm going to do is just put cake batter in all of these tins so that eventually they can sort of pile up on top of each other and make a slightly ghosty shape. Hopefully that'll be enough though. So I'm just going to start by like, I think the word is lining. <laughs> nice it's very soft and smooth it also looks very airy so I'm actually quite happy with the batter I'm not trying to say it's all on you I've made my share of mistakes time to pop my babies into the oven I feel like I made it too hot <laughs> are in the oven hopefully they'll cook perfectly and they'll rise but so guys here are the final cakes from day one um i had to finish them another day but this is what they looked like after being baked hey guys so it is wednesday morning and you saw the final results of last time so i'm going to be continuing with the cakes now so i'm going to be adding on the frosting which is actually ready made i'm also going to be covering it with the fondant and this is a bit where i actually make the beautiful beautiful ghost cake shape so here are the cakes as you guys can see they actually look pretty good i'm pretty happy with them and i don't know i don't have one of those like spinning things where you put your cake on to decorate it i think i have a cake stand but i literally can't find it so i'm just going to be using this oh wow that's actually really smooth so obviously the cake isn't that thick but you know i didn't actually put much batter in it in the first place Ooh. That's nice. So basically what I'm doing here is putting the cakes on top of each other by using the lovely chocolate frosting from Asda. And I'm also cutting off the like doughy bit of the cake as you guys can see. Although I kind of make a, I kind of made a huge like hole in it, but oh well. So I'm just adding layers of chocolate frosting and then cake to build up the cake obviously. And this is just what they do on TV. So I'm doing it too. And after that, what I did was I cut the cake into the ghost shape and I also added on some of the side pieces onto the top so that it would create a more domey circular bit at the top. I know it looks weird, but it did work, kind of. And then after that, what I did was I just grabbed all of the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chocolate frosting and just put it all on the cake, basically. I just wanted it to be really more domey at the top because it would harden and create a better shape for the whole cake in general. So guys, this is what it looks like. I know it looks so, so messy, but I'm just gonna put it in the fridge so that the frosting can like harden and then hopefully the fondant will fix everything. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hey guys, welcome back to MasterChef Australia. Just kidding, welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you guys love this angle because today we're going to be putting the fondant on and it's just the same day as this morning. But you know what? 
Oh well, it's a little bit cold in the kitchen, but let's go. So I know you guys don't appreciate this angle, but here is my fondant. Oh my gosh, that is really heavy. I've never rolled out fondant before. It feels like a rock, like. So here is me doing the fondant for the cake. So I'm just rolling it out. This took a couple of tries because I don't know how to roll fondant and I don't, didn't know if you were meant to like, I don't know, flour the like work surface or something, but I did end up managing to roll it eventually and cut out a little circle-ish shape to put onto my lovely ghost cake. So it did work eventually. <laughs> So here is the final cake. I'm not gonna say it looks the best. It looks kind of cute. I guess it kind of worked. Although the fondant in, oh, is obviously a bit dodgy. It's very, very bumpy. But you know what? Hopefully it tastes good and it did work. So here it is. So guys, it is finally time to eat the cake. I'm so excited to test this, to test this for you. And I'm gonna show you guys the final cake before we cut it up. And hopefully it tastes nice. Okay, so I think it's finally time to cut this. I don't really know, should I just go a full on cut? Should I? Um, maybe I'll just do a bit on the side. Here we go. Probably shouldn't be using a, <laughs> a butter knife for this, but I can't be bothered to go get another one now, it's too late. chunk of this ghost baby and this is what it looks like on the inside now guys finally time for the taste test mm. oh great I just realized I saw my retainers on <laughs> now I'm ready here we go pretty nice you know the fondant is nice the cake is cooked <laughs> the cake is nice um the chocolate frosting is nice basically this is actually a success and it actually tastes good i'm actually proud of myself so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you like this video don't forget to go check out rosie's video too and see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe and comment down below how well you think this went <laughs> see you guys next time